Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Justin. Uh, on this channel, we're going to review movies. Uh, I'm not a movie critic. I didn't go to school for film. Uh, I've just been a movie fan my entire life since you know I can remember. The first movies I ever watched were movies like Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Harry and the Hendersons. A little controversial being so young, but Robocop. You know, love Robocop. Batman, Michael Keaton, best Batman of all time. You know, debate me if you want, but that's my opinion. You know, nobody tops Michael Keaton. Uh, we'll talk about that in a future movie. Uh, and uh, Howard the Duck, movie like Howard the Duck, I know not universally liked. Very few people probably like it, but... It stands out for me. It's enjoyable. I appreciate it for what it is. And that's what this channel is really all about. You get a lot of movies that critics don't appreciate because they don't take them for what they are. You know, you have your movies like Gladiator, There Will Be Blood, The Artist. These are just movies from the last 20 years. But you can go back all the way to, you know, movies like In the Heat of the Night, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. These are the movies that critics love. And deservedly so. They're incredible movies. But you get, you get comedies. You get action movies. These are movies that critics, you know, are less likely to enjoy. And that's the problem that I have. Is I appreciate movies for what they are. You know, I can go in, watch, you know, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective... Uh, for whatever time it is, it's I've seen it so many times, but it's still entertaining because of Jim Carrey's abilities to just hook you in. You know, that's what's that what that's what stands out for me with movies. Uh, I'm not gonna rate movies with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's not my style. I don't do stars. We're gonna rate it one to ten. That's how we're gonna review it. All movies get graded on the same scale. But I take into account, you know, my appreciation for movies. You know, you might get a nine in a movie for something like There Will Be Blood. But you might also get a nine for, you know, 48 hours. I'm not saying these get nines, you know, we'll cross that bridge with those movies when we get there. I, hopefully I will. I hope to review all the movies. Uh, I love movies. Uh, this is a passion of mine, and that's why I'm doing this channel, is because I appreciate movies, and you know, I like to give a fair perspective where I think a lot of movies don't get a fair perspective. Uh, that being said, the first movie I'm going to review is the last movie I watched, uh, which is Eddie Murphy's The Golden Child. Uh, this obviously came out in the height of Eddie Murphy's career. He'd already done movies like Trading Places, which is another iconic comedy, 48 Hours, Beverly Hills Cop. So to me, this is at the height of his career as an, as an actor. You can argue the 90s, and a lot of people probably will. You know, he had movies like The Nutty Professor, which were super successful, but his timing... His ability to grab you and hook you in and just want to watch the movies, this is the peak. Uh, is The Golden Child his best movie? No. But it's still enjoyable. You know, I haven't watched it in several years. And I just so happened to come across it. And I was like, I'm going to watch The Golden Child. Um, great cast. Uh, not a super recognizable cast. Um, faces you'll notice, but they don't stand out for much. Uh, men like Charles Dance, who you would under uh, a lot of people will recognize as Ty Tywin Lannister in Game of Thrones. He was in Last Action Hero with Schwarzenegger. He was in Alien Three, where he played Sigourney Weaver's love interest. You have uh, guys like James Hong, who you know basically been the stereotypical Asian character, Wayne's World Two as Cassandra's father. Uh, he was in um, Big Trouble in Little China. He was in Blade Runner. He was in Chinatown. He's got, you know, a lot of credibility to him. He's been in a lot of great movies, uh, a lot of entertaining uh, movies as well. Uh, and Victor Wong, who 
anybody who's a fan of Kevin Bacon would recognize as Walter Chang in Tremors. Uh, Kevin Bacon, uh, that's another, that's another uh, story for another day. I love playing Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, and I'll probably be playing it on this channel. Um, and the, the female lead, Charlotte Lewis, not recognizable, but, you know, very well cast, I think. Um, just a by-the-books comedy. You know, you got a character, Eddie Murphy, who works with the police, uh, looking for, searching for missing children. Uh, doesn't see himself as a hero, but he has that inner hero in him. And a child, the golden child, goes uh, missing, is kidnapped. And he's the one that's uh, the chosen one, the one that's got to save the day from Charles Dance's Sodom Noom Spa. Uh, just... Eddie Murphy's delivery of that name is just, it just makes me laugh even thinking about it. Um, and that's, you know, it's just by the books comedy. It's, you know, a man who, you know, helps kids but doesn't see himself as a hero, but he is a hero. Uh, but it's his comedic timing that's so important because it, it brings you in, like most of his movies do. Uh, and he's, and to his credit, is even in a movie like this, which is a comedy, he still has that ability to act in a dramatic way. There are some scenes that really show his range as an actor that, you know, you don't really recognize. And, you know, he doesn't get a lot of credit for. You know, movies like Dream Girls that he would do later in his career, which he should have won an Oscar for. Uh, that's where he first really gets recognized as a dramatic actor, even though a lot of his roles have that in there, but it's his comedic timing that bring you in. So he's got to save the day, save the child. It's a simple, straightforward plot, you know, with a little bit of sci-fi mixed in, but it's just his delivery that makes it so entertaining. And, that's basically the case with a lot of his movies. And, you know, for that that alone, I got to put it in the sevens. You know, it's not a great cast, you know, recognizable cast, fun movie. It's a 7.4. So that's that's where The Golden Child stands in my eyes. It's It's a movie that you can watch again and again, and I don't think you get sick of just because of Eddie Murphy's comedic timing. And, you know, I'm glad I watched it. It's actually been several years since I've watched it. So, Golden Child, 7.4. First review of the channel. I hope you enjoy this review. Uh, we're not going to go super in, in detail to the plots of the movies. Uh, I would recommend, if you haven't seen The Golden Child, watch it. That's basically... Uh, how I'll leave these reviews. Uh, a lot of these movies, a lot of people have seen. You know, I mean, The Golden Child's been out for 30, 35 years. But, you know, there are a lot of people who haven't seen it. And uh, I definitely would recommend it. It's a nice by-the-books comedy. Uh, Eddie Murphy just grabs you, hooks you, pulls you in. And that's it. You, you want to watch it. And I'm glad I did. 7.4, The Golden Child. First review on the channel. Hope to see you again at the movies.